Hello everyone, welcome to Ultimate Diecast. My name is Tyrone and it seems we have a return of a series. Uh, quite a few months ago now I did a series of videos called um, Greenlight Duo with a Cop Car Chaser featuring obviously a couple of green light cars followed up by a green light police car that was the going addiction I went into rehab and uh, seems to have fallen off the wagon again we've got a couple of Terminator 2 Judgment Day movie cars here from Greenlight all dirty and crazy looking uh, should we just get into it? we'll start off with not this one but this one this is an older green light I picked up cheap uh, didn't specifically choose this one it was kind of like a bargain basement do you want a bunch of these? Um, and I said yes. 2020 copyright, so not that old. We'll give that anyway. This is the 2009 Ford Mustang GT. Uh, just before I put the scissors through the fairly decent artwork. Uh, 0 to 178 miles an hour in 7.9 seconds on street time. <laughs> Oh dear, that's a, um, a complicating factor on street tires. So you can be a thug and a hooligan in your regular car. Let's have a look. Let's have a look if there's any deficiencies with the model because there have been a couple. Um, I was unaware that I was getting very inexpensive green light at a cost. And the cost was there were things wrong with them. But we'll have a look. Opening piece? Oh, there is two. Huh. It's fairly unusual for green light to have an opening piece, isn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. That's why you don't open the blooming bonnet. Oh, you'll stay up for the rest of the show. It's a nice looking colour. Is that why this was cheap? Because they couldn't get the closing part to do its thing. Opening is fine, isn't it? Seemingly authentic wheels. It's a nice looking car, this. Mustangs throughout the years have been really nice looking cars. The designers through the decades knew their stuff. So yeah, that's a definite win. I'll have a play with that in my own time. But that's the first green light. The second one, should we cut straight to the chase almost? This isn't the police car, this is kind of the good guy's car, isn't it? This was the T800's um, car of not choice but necessity. 1979 Ford LTD Country Squire. Uh, where are we? Is this brand new? Yeah, this is brand new. Let's wreck some stuff. Terminator 2 was probably my favourite of the Terminator franchise. I hope they rehash it. I don't mind a rehash if it's done properly. Um, good old Arnie carrying the coffin through the graveyard. A coffin full of uh, large machine guns, etc. Um, looked thoroughly unrealistic, even for Arnie. going to need a new vehicle. I'm not very good at that, you know it. Man, this thing's dusty. That looks great. That looks really good. Bit up old thing. I think it lost its roof, didn't it? Didn't they go under a truck or something and the roof got scraped off? One of the only funny bits of the movie. They all ducked down just in time. Seconds later to find themselves in a convertible. Does that come down? Oh, it does. Oh, no. I'm not going to do that. It's even real. Hmm. Opening parts. Come on, guys. Leave it alone. Yeah, that's cool. It's very cool. You can just imagine that flying over the, the lawn of a cemetery. 
And the police car chassis, we'll, we'll briefly allude to this. Is this really a police car? No, but this is. So we'll get to that in a second. Um, uh, we might as well open this as well. The 2013 Ford Escape. I don't think these are made in America, are they? New York City Parks and Recreation. Not sure it's a real cop, so it doesn't really count for the police car chaser or cop car chaser. On my um, trip to the States about a decade ago now, still half and on about it, um, we were in Vegas. We hired a, a car in Tucson, Arizona to see the, the boneyard for the aircraft. And um, we found ourselves in Vegas and it was the only, one of the only times, yes, one of the only times I found myself on the incorrect side of the road, but it was in a car park, so it didn't count. The second and other only time I found myself on the wrong side of the road was in another car park, so it didn't count either. <laughs> but um, very randomly, some police on push bikes zoomed up to us in this multi-level car park um, at the Stratosphere Casino where we were staying and uh, not so politely told us we weren't to be doing that no matter how few people were around it's supposed to be on the right side even in a car park buddy so um yeah sorry officer on our merry way we went stupid tourists we were it's okay to be a stupid tourist you know there, there are so many um stimuli aren't there mental stimuli when you're on holiday you're not going to get everything right Let's cut to the chase, the 1983 Ford LTD Crown Victoria, and here the addiction relapses. Mm. And they will just flood the joint with cop cars, because that's what happens. Sorry card art, as pretty as you are. Gone. So, green light is patchy at best in Australia. Toy mate carries it. Um, there is only one toy mate, as far as I know. Uh, there might be two toy mates in Perth, but they have green light in limited stock. But I saw these. I bought these. Mm. Now I've got a. Well, let's be fair. I've got quite a few Crown Victorias around the place. Where was? Oh, there is. I think this was from the Terminator series too. Might be wrong. It's a different year, isn't it? I might be wrong there. Um, this one is obviously a different era. That's from the Rookie TV series. And I acquired a few. And I actually left some on the pegs. Uh, would have been last year now, I suppose. That's such a nice heavy car. I left some on the pegs because I got kind of tired of looking at them. Um, wish I hadn't of now because you can't buy them for love nor money. But I hope this one will be around for a bit longer than five minutes, like they normally are. Um, only problem with this one is the dog dish sometimes isn't done right. But this one appears to be okay. Great looking boxy American car. And uh, certainly in keeping. How many of these did they wreck in the Terminator movies, by the way? Plenty. But that's okay, we've got plenty on hand. I'm not sure if we should be going upstairs or downstairs <laughs> for this because I have a few to show you. You might have seen them in the thumbnail. Shall we get the black and whites out first? Let's not completely swamp the stars. Where was the other one? Oh, it's that one. Yeah. Oh, tragic. Tragic. The parks guy can be assisting the guy in the Mustang. Right, black and whites. We'll put, uh, where do we put them? We'll put them there. So the whole precinct wants to know what Arnie's up to. They want his autograph. It's not the greatest scenario, but we'll stick with it. Yeah, I should have got more of those. 
that's uh, did I tell you that's from the rookie TV series never saw the rookie never cared to even if they offer it to me as a rerun for free I probably still won't be watching the rookie um, if you've seen one TV cop drama you've seen them all uh, do we have any more black and whites nope plenty more crown Victorias this one is a stunner but again not my favorite um, it's called cool. highway patrol I forget what district you might be able to see that mm, was it Pennsylvania don't know can't remember plenty of those one more there might be a few still left on the card around here too he brags um, is that the same model is that today's star mm, maybe probably I like the white one better maybe it's just because the novelty factor certainly a different light bar looks like a, a beacon in the middle of that one not sure I like the red and blue but hmm not sure Jerry is out speaking of all got a few of those ones and uh, love that shape there love that shape that's the Plymouth is it uh, might have to take a step back folks crowd them all in I know I've had all, all of these on camera before but I love them you seem to love them. It's just eye candy. It's just a bit of law enforcement therapy. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to deny. Just embrace it. That's a uh, almost a Blues Brothers uh, type thing, isn't it? Very old school. SUVs as they like to drive these days. Oh, he's not even in shot. Gee whiz. I have a Starsky and Hutch one too, but I didn't bring it out because the red kind of mix, m messes up the, um, the color scheme of the table. And you can't have Starsky and Hutch on mass, can you? And just fit him in and no more. Yeah, it's all about um, aesthetics when it comes to police cars. Gee, Arnie's outnumbered. You better get that coffin full of guns out as the tailgate sags after just one micro opening. Mm, opening parts, leave them alone. Fantastic. What a sea of glory. Fantastic. Hope you enjoyed the show, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. And, um, yeah, hopefully look forward to more uh, Greenlight Duo with Cop Cow Chaser videos. Bye.